Freedom Family, episode 3, everybody. And I hope you guys are really doing great. And I thank you for being here with me today. In this episode, we will be talking about something that YouTube takes very seriously. In today's episode, we will be talking about violent or graphic content. Stay with me, Freedom Family, because this one is very tricky. Iana, please drop my title. As we have said a while ago, we will be talking about violent or graphic content. Are you ready, Freedom Family? Of course you are, right? So, let's go! This is what YouTube said about violent graphic content, and I quote, It is not okay to post violent or gory content that is primarily intended to be shocking, sensational, or gratuitous. If a video is particularly graphic or disturbing, it should be balanced with additional context and information. If posting graphic content in a news, documentary, scientific, or artistic context, please be mindful to provide enough information to help people understand what's going on. In some cases, content may be so violent or shocking that no amount of context will allow that content to remain on our platforms. Lastly, don't encourage others to commit specific acts of violence. You might be wondering, what about stage violence or violence that is dramatized or acted out? Well, this is what YouTube has to say about it. Much like movies and TV, Graphic or disturbing content that contains violence, gore, or shocking content is not suitable for minors and will be age-restricted. Terrorist content also falls under violent content. Let's see what they have to say about it. YouTube says that we do not permit terrorist organizations to use YouTube for any purpose, including recruitment. YouTube also strictly prohibits content related to terrorism, such as content that promotes terrorist acts, incites violence, or celebrate terrorist attacks. If posting content related to terrorism for an educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic purpose, be mindful to provide enough information so viewers understand the content. Graphic or controversial footage may be subject to age restrictions or a warning screen. Can I age restrict my videos that have violent content but follows these rules? Yes. Yes, you can. Here's a list of videos that will determine that your violent content should be age restricted. But just to be safe, you should age restrict all your violent content. So here we go. Where the video shows scenes containing physical attacks where the injury sustained is bloody or gory. Whether the video shows the graphic aftermath of a violent act. Whether the shots of violence or gore are the focal point of the video. Whether the violence contained in this video is realistic when posted in a dramatic context. Whether the video contains adult themes and is targeting minors. Other factors include the length of time an image appears in the video. Fleeting versus prolonged. Exposure especially relative to the overall length of the video. The camera angle and focus. The relative clarity of the image in the video. The video thumbnail. That was a lot of freedom family. Now, let's break it down. Posting violent or gory content that does not have any real educational, artistic, newsworthy, and documentary purpose is not allowed on YouTube. Violent or gory videos are to be intentionally shocking, sensational, or gratuitous without any informative or transformative context will never be allowed on YouTube. Terrorist videos that recruits, incites violence, promotes terrorist attacks, and celebrates terrorist attacks can be classified as violent content. If you want to use violent or gory content, it must contain an abundant amount of information explaining why these scenes are being flashed on the video. If your videos containing violent or gory content follow these parameters, it should be under age-restricted content. If you want to see the conditions again, you can go back to this timestamp. That was a lot of Freedom Family. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from that. Also, let me know your questions, let me know your comments, your suggestions, violent reactions if you have any in the comment section below. Do it now. Comment now. Okay, in the KYC Nold edition, we will be talking about, of course, you guessed it, violent and gory content. So, here we go. Today, our first channel is Casuel TV 3 Hey, how are you? Hope you're doing great. Let's take a look at your channel. Okay, I see here in your channel that you tackle real life events and you provide information about these events by means of commentary or reaction video. That's good. Let's take a look at your videos. What is the deal, YouTube? Welcome back uh, to the channel. So the images that you are looking at are the images- In the video, you were expressing your opinions towards the what happened to the 15-year-old girl. And on this video, there was a picture of the pretty little girl on the left, and on the right is her injured face, which is very graphic. In the video, you have given ample information to what happened to the 15-year-old girl. You also expressed your opinions and what you felt about the event, although you have missed an important key point. You should have placed this video as age restricted because you can see the injured face of the girl which is very graphic. Okay, let's move on. I have to warn you though, the next video contains spoilers from the Walking Dead series. If you're a fan, you can skip this one. Welcome back to the channel. So I just got finished watching 
Okay, in this video, you were expressing your heartfelt feelings towards the scene where Glenn was brutally bludgeoned by Negan. My mom actually cried when she was watching this episode. Again, you have given ample information on what happened to the scene and also expressed your opinions towards the topic, but you missed to age restrict this video. Let's go back to the age parameters. There is a line saying, whether the shots of violence or gore are the focal points of the video. In this case, the focal point of the video was Glenn's death. And in the video, you only showed Glenn's injured face, which is very graphic. I'm sorry, Kazuel TV 3 I have to rate your channel as... At risk. Next up is TK Unchained. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Let's take a look at your channel. It looks here that your channel is mainly about gaming content and you have uploaded a few videos that portray funny moments and violent acts. Let's take a look at your video. You seem to be in quite the hurry. Why are you driving like that? That's it? That's all you got? <laughs> Your mom. There you go, he's a man. This video shows two people having an argument. And at the end of the video, the man in red provoked the man taking the footage and that led to a fist fight. It's good that you put your videos under age restricted, but you are not allowed to use this video as it is primarily shocking and sensational. There is no information that tells us why these two people are fighting, nor there is any transformative content that can merit this video as newsworthy, documentary, educational, artistic, or scientific in context. Okay, let's move on to another video. Okay, in this video, we see that there is impending violence about to happen. It does not take long before someone got knocked out. And judging from the audio, that really hurt. Now, this video is shocking because someone got hurt really bad. The title says, Bully gets jaw dislocated after assaulting guy. Instant karma. And the video description says, Put a stop to bullying. In the video, if you examine it really carefully, there is no added content that supports the video title and the video description. These are just two men fighting. Two teenagers fighting. I'm sorry TK and Chain, but I have to rate your channel as at risk. Freedom Family, that's episode 3. Thank you so much for being here with me, watching my videos, and giving me your support. And of course, let me know in the comment section below on what you think about the episode. Comments, suggestions, questions, violent reactions if you guys have any. And I just want to hear from you guys, so comment in the comment section below. Comment now. Also, do you remember the Freedom Community channel? Well, if not, check this out. And we have plans to revive this channel, so you can give us your ideas on what shows you want us to produce. And if you want to be part of the channel or part of the shows that we create, you can just comment in the comment section below and maybe we can work something out, right? So guys, see you there. Alright, my name is Noel and you're watching KYC Notified. See ya. Hi, have you checked out our Freedom Forums? If not, well you should, because you will find me there alongside free channel assets like audios, banners, thumbnails, and a lot more. If you want to hang out with me or with our Freedom staff members, visit our Discord page. See you there.